All right, what's up, guys? So, um, I love shotguns. It's no uh, no secret to my buddies that I'm a fan of the 12 gauge. This is the Citadel Boss Hog. In, uh, it's imported by Legacy Sports, and it's made in Turkey. Uh, this is a semi-auto. It takes two and three quarter or three inch. Uh, today we're running two and three quarter inch Winchester high brass load. So these are a velocity of 1350. Well, we're gonna uh, go over the loading procedure on the Citadel Boss Hog and um, kind of give you guys some tips and tricks on it. So today we are using that heavy brass load and we're gonna start by loading the two rounds in. And then once you have your two in the tube, there is a, a plug in there. If you do want to uh, do like water foul with this gun, you got to have that plug restricted to two rounds in the tube. I've got two and three quarter in there right now. On the left hand side of the gun, you're going to see this lever here. What that lever is going to do is going to drop that loading ramp and put that shell on the bottom of that loading ramp, right? I should say in the top. At that point, you can rack the action back. It's now loaded. We're going to put the safety on. And at this time, we can put one more shell in the tube. So you've got a total of three in the gun. And then uh, we're gonna shoot a little shotguns here. I don't have a clay pigeon thrower right now, so we're just gonna shoot down range. Kind of just test this gun out, see how well it runs. Um, we've put one box of shells through it so far, and uh, we're gonna continue on with that. Seems to be running pretty good. Um, another way to load this gun is to just put one in the open chamber, close that chamber, uh, rack your safety on, and put two more in the tube, and you're good to go. Uh, pretty easy, simple loading procedure. You know, these uh, Turkish guns, they're not really well known for reliability when it comes with the cheaper side. Again, Turkey's making a ton of shotguns right now, and there are some really good ones coming out of Turkey. This isn't one of them. But uh, for 150 bucks, what can you say? Okay, let's just keep going through this box. We got some uh, some looky loos over here waiting for us to leave so they can take our brass. But you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna sit here for the next few hours, acting like we're not going anywhere, and they're just gonna have to wait. Oh, they're coming over to talk to us. <laughs> Just give you a little tip. So I just did load one in the chamber, safety's on, but my feed ramp is stuck right there. So that's weird. <laughs> Not normal. You can't put any more shells in. What you do is just hit this side button here on the right, and that's gonna release your feed ramp so you're able to put two more in the tube. I'll uh, unload these three and then I'll let my camera man do some shooting with it. Get some goon tape on, it'll be fine. Seriously, goon tape <laughs> fixes everything. <laughs> yeah, having to push that button. Yeah, it's a little weird. Sorry. So what we're gonna do with this gun is we're gonna put it through some tests. Not here today. I didn't bring enough ammo, so I am gonna keep a round count on it. We're gonna run two boxes of the same stuff through it today. Um, and one of these days, we're gonna do like a full um, torture test on this. And then I have a Dickinson pump action, another Turkish gun, that we'll do the same thing with and see which one kind of lasts longer. Um, these are, I mean, you can find these things on sale for like 150 bucks, and that's exactly what I did. Um, again, I love 12 gauge, so I went for it. Um, so we'll, uh, We'll go through the shells I've got in my pocket right here with you guys and you know throughout the winter months we'll do some like mud and snow tests on it maybe we'll come out here on a really cold day uh, get some water in there let it freeze and <laughs> see how it runs uh, but yeah let's do this right here okay so it's cycling these high brass loads just fine uh, which most shotguns will when it comes to semi-auto, as long as you're using high brass. The moment you start using cheap, uh, you know, like skeet rounds that you get at Walmart, they're gonna be um, having issues, especially if it's like 1100 FPS on that shotgun shell, you're gonna have issues with it. 
Uh, but with this expensive stuff, seems to run just fine. So as you can see, I'm dropping around in the chamber, putting it on safety, and then loading the two in there. And I'll probably pull the plug. I don't plan on using this for hunting or anything. No waterfowl with it, so there's no need for the plug. Uh, just kind of have fun with it. And like I've told you earlier, uh, we'll do some tests with it, some torture tests. So let's do some hip fire. Oh, there we go. So, something you guys may not know, or maybe maybe you do, but when you hip fire a shotgun, you take away a lot of the, um, the recoil. And that's how a lot of semi-auto guns function, is with recoil. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if this is an inertia or gas. It's probably gas. But while I'm hip firing it, all that recoil is going back, not into my shoulder. So obviously we had a stove pipe here. So yeah, when it's shouldered properly and you're using the right ammo, it seems to be running fine. Of course, this is just the first 25 round through this gun. Obviously keep her shouldered if you want it to cycle properly. Uh, yeah, and I mean, you know, guys, there are a ton of shotguns coming from Turkey right now, a lot. And there are some good ones. Um, I know CZ is making a lot of their shotguns out there, which is fine. I think a lot of it has to do with like quality control and what factory they're coming from. Um, this one, made in Turkey by KRC. So KRC AV is the actual manufacturer of this gun, not uh, Citadel Baus Haug. Although, I mean, come on, it's got a hog on it. That's freaking sweet, right? <laughs> Thanks a little bit of this. Yeah, you got to make sure you're tightening that choke after every round. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about Turkish made shotguns, Alan? Oh, I, I just love them. They're just amazing. <laughs> no. no, I mean, not bad for 150 bucks, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Right. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all tuning in on this episode of the Turkish made shotguns. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>